guys and welcome back to another video. Today is very exciting. I am in my new house, my new home. I thought I would give you a little run around an empty house tour per se and show you the rooms and give you a little update of what's going to be happening, what we're ripping out, what we're doing to make this place look hopefully pretty much brand new. It needs a lot of work. It does need a lot of work. The people that lived here before didn't really do anything to it. Um, I don't even think they cleaned, so it's pretty disgusting to be honest. The windows are like black. The place just looks filthy. I don't know why you don't know, it's not nice. But yeah, I thought I would just, you know, take you around, show you everything, um, and then I'll show you the process along the way. And then once everything's done, I will do a full house tour. So let's just get started. I will have a front garden, which I'm gonna get a drive put in, a little bit of grass for puppy and make it look very friendly and inviting and homely. But I'm not gonna show you that because privacy, I don't wanna show the outside of my house really. I'll, I probably will at some point, like just by mistake, but privacy so no one really on the internet knows where I stay. It's all just gonna be from inside, I think. I'm So to start with, this is my front door. This we are getting completely changed. So the front door is gonna go, which is fine by me because it is looking a little bit manky. It's okay, but yeah, it could be done with a spruce up. So we're gonna get a new door and then we're gonna get all new windows throughout the house. So this one's not too bad, but you can kind of see Along the windowsills, they're not, they're not the nicest. They're just starting to go a little bit black. Yeah, new window there. And then this sort of area, this vestibule bit, we're gonna have, you know, a bit for coats. I've got the radiator here. So I might put a radiator cover along there so that I can have, you know, something sit on top. We'll be ripping all the flooring throughout the house up. So this will be going and it will be the same flooring all the way through into the next room. For now, this room isn't gonna change too much. We are gonna be getting rid of this lovely artist ceiling because it is gorgeous. So yeah, getting rid of that. We'll get rid of that light. Put something nice, something modern, something my style up. Yeah, so that is the little vestibule. And then we come in to the living room. So again, this door and this frame all gonna be redone. Uh, we're gonna go for white doors. I think we're gonna keep the sort of style or we're gonna go for like half paneled doors. Basically this one here, is gonna be the same, so we can look right through to the kitchen, which is through there. So yeah, all this is gonna look, basically to make the house look a little bit longer and bigger and spacious. And yeah, so I'm gonna come back here and you see the start of my living room. So I've got a nice big window again that has been replaced and I can probably show you all these curtains and blinds and everything will be going down but yeah you can kind of see it's it's not the nicest and I think I'd yeah I'm gonna feel a lot better. New blinds, new window, taking down the curtain rail and um, we're not gonna have curtains up. New skirtings, new flooring which I'm gonna go for like a wood effect flooring which will be great. The people that lived here before didn't do anything with this house. So here I've got a, a fire that is getting ripped out because as you can see it says danger on it. Uh, that's fine, I didn't want that in my house anyway, it's uh, gorgeous. And Artex ceiling, that will be getting plastered over, removed. I'm gonna have a three seat couch just there, which I've already ordered, I'll show you at some point. I'm gonna have maybe a little side table here, or a plant, or maybe a plant there, side table, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then I'm gonna have in this corner, that, that sort of shows you the, the skirtings that we're thinking of, an armchair in this corner, like just about here-ish, sort of here if you can see my finger. Yeah, and then in the middle, we're gonna have, I'm gonna have a round coffee table that sort of pulls out. So it's like two coffee tables slide into each other, like a bit like a, n a nesting table, I suppose, um, but a coffee table one, so that'll be nice. I'm going for like the wood effect, industrial, like black metal legs sort of style, which I love, that is my thing. Gray sofa, so yeah, the pieces of furniture are gonna be like, gray, we're gonna have the, an olive green armchair, which will go there. We're gonna have like 
creams and like neutral, very beigey sort of tones for like cushions and throws and making it all feel very homely and warm and cozy all throughout the house other than the bedrooms and I think the kitchen will be sort of dark rustic wood flooring. So it all flows but it also looks good. I think I'm gonna get a big jute rug for the middle of the room. That is that sort of area. And then we've got this end. Excuse my jackets, I just dumped it there because I've got nowhere to put them right now. So this wall is gonna have my TV. So where they had that picture there, I'm gonna pop my TV. I'm gonna get like a console table or something for underneath. Um, which I can decorate with like my candles and my picture frames. Ooh, gonna look good. So again, like I said, we're gonna take off these doors take so you can see right through. Probably a big mirror above the sofa and just make this place look really spacious. And it's a decent size, but because it's not open plan, it can make it, the room feel smaller. So that's the plan for the living room. And then I think we'll go through to the hall next, this lighting. <laughs> very door happy. Yeah, there's a lot of cupboard space in this, this little apartment. I don't actually know if I told you, this is my little house. Um, it's a two bed, two bed apartment, so it's self-contained. So I'm the ground floor of a house essentially. So I've got my own front door, I'm going to have neighbors upstairs, but that's fine. Hopefully they're nice, because that house um, upstairs was up for sale as well. So I don't actually know who's living there at the moment, because they've not moved in yet. But hopefully it's somebody nice and we can be friends. <laughs> I'm gonna have a room for myself, a room for the dog, more or less. Plenty space, lots of storage space. So moving on to the, like I said, lots and lots of storage space. I have one, two, four cupboards, four cupboards in the hall. Again, we've got this lovely Artex ceiling, which we're gonna get rid of. All the doors and door frames are being replaced and we're gonna have them nice and white, make this space look bigger. Yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of doors. I don't mind too much because it is going to give me lots and lots of space. So this is going to not stay quite as big as this. We're going to knock down the wall and bring it forward just so it's got enough space for like towels and stuff because otherwise well, that's going to be wasted. It's such a big, big, deep cupboard that it's going to be wasted. So we're going to add that on, some of that space on to the kitchen, which I will show you and explain. And then we've got this one, which is going to have my washing machine in it. Yeah, again. So that's gonna be great. I'm gonna have a washing machine shelving so I can have, you know, washing powder, washing basket, like all that fun stuff in here. And then we've got this big one here, which right now has a freezer in it, which I'll get rid of. All painted up. We're gonna paint all the insides of the cupboards, make it look all fresh. It has so much potential for, that's a really big cupboard. So that is gonna be great for storage. Yeah, flooring will be the same as the living room. Um, and here again, another cupboard, which has my, got my boiler in it. So this'll be good for like ironing board, dog food, like all that sort of stuff. Jackets, blah, 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 blah. Brilliant, lots of space. That's one thing I wanted. I have lots of stuff. Um, I have got lots of stuff. So having lots of storage space just means that the whole, the whole house shouldn't look cluttered because I can just hide it behind the door. Love it. Uh, we're gonna move into the spare room now. So this is my second room. This is gonna be like study slash where Casper's bed's gonna go slash spare room, filming room, just whatever I need it to be at that moment. Yeah, Casper's bed's gonna sit in here. I'll have a little desk and pool out bed eventually, I think, like a sofa bed. Yeah, fitted wardrobes in each room, so that's great. So it'll all be white. We're just painting the whole house white to start with, and then if I need feature walls, I will do that. We've got the, the wardrobe. We are, I'm gonna try and paint these doors to make them look good 
If not, we'll replace them. So this is gonna be all carpeted. I'm hoping for like, I've got an idea for carpets, but my dad said it's not good for dogs. So I don't know about carpets yet, but we're going for something neutral, I think. And cozy, so yeah, lots of shelving. So we'll paint all the insides of the wardrobes. Again, get rid of the Artex ceiling curtains and replacing, replacing these gorgeous windows. Cause look at them so good painting the walls making it just look fresh because because it just looks a bit yeah tatty right now air out the air out the rooms a bit because i don't know if they ever opened windows in here and yeah here we have the bathroom <laughs> Essentially, we found that the floor was had been damp, so this is all getting replaced by the cellar. It essentially, means the whole whole bathroom is going to be ripped out, which isn't great. Look at the size of this sink. We need something smaller here. Yeah, this is the bathroom. Yeah, replace the shower. Essentially, getting a walk-in shower, or I might keep the bathtub. I'm not sure yet. Again, it'll be the same flooring throughout. Just maybe a new. Something here, door will be changed, new window, blinds, and yeah, this place just needs a, it needs something. Get rid of this little thing, because we don't need you. Not 100% sure what I'm doing with that room yet, but it's in the works, so. Then I'll take you to my bedroom. <laughs> Bedroom. Main bedroom, so we've got the walk-in wardrobe with the mirrored doors, love that. Great for outfit selfies. So yeah, paint the insides, that'll all be carpeted in. Not much to do there, that'll all be white around the outsides. New door, Artex ceiling again, getting rid of. That wallpaper will be going away, these shelving units going away. Carpet all gone. This will all be white skirtings. New windows, new blinds. I'm gonna have my bed here. A few little side tables and honestly, keeping it very simple in here. I'm thinking like dark wood bed, black side tables with like rattan detailing, um, white linen sort of bedding and blankets and all that kind of neutral colors again. Love it, very simple. And then into the kitchen. <laughs> kitchen is very very old looking very old-fashioned look how disgusting they didn't even clean their oven before they left the plan for here will be to have get rid of this and on this wall we are moving it back into that cupboard that i showed you earlier so this is going to be pushed this way we're going to move the washing machine into the other cupboard that i showed you this is all going to be worktop and cupboard space in this area here where this is pushed back my fridge freezer is going to be so it's gonna look flush to the wall, which will look great. We're gonna have induction hob, new oven, cupboard space all along here. Dishwasher will be about here-ish, I think. I've not picked colors or anything yet, so I'm not entirely sure of styling and things, but then I hopefully like a breakfast bar bit here would be good. Little, two little chairs, I think would be perfect. Yeah, just somewhere nice, nice to chill, nice to eat some food. High as well, where the dog can't get to me and steal it. That is the that's the kitchen. Yeah, those are the little plans for my house. That is my empty house tour. Once things start progressing, I will take you along. I'll show you show you what's happening, show you what I'm buying, showing you as it's all as it's all progressing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna keep this one quite short. The full house tour will be the most exciting one once it's all done. I hope you like my new house. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one.